Hi, I'm Akshay. Hi, my name is Corey. Hi, I'm Ashwati. Hi, I'm Jonah. And we're Team Nanyang, who won the John Molson Case Competition. The John Molson International Business Case Competition has around 180 participants with 36 schools competing. We've, we from the Nanyang Business School have been participating in this competition for quite a few years now. It's the first time uh, we've won and uh, the first time a nation team has won. The split of the competition is about 40 to 50 percent international schools and the remainder is from Canada and from the U.S. Um, and from some of the international schools include the Porto School of Business and NUS. And then from Canada, there's uh, University of Ottawa and Concordia, and also from the States is also Chicago Blue. So the format of the competition is that it's a week-long event where you have cases every day, and on two particular days of the week, you have two cases. So the first round is a round-robin event where you compete against five other teams in your division, and from there, you move on to the semifinals and then on to the finals. So we were undefeated for the first round, and then we moved on to win the semifinals and also the finals. And it was also one of the very few teams in the history of the competition to have won all the cases in the competition. So the John Molson case competition is one winter sport we love to compete in. Um, the competition itself has been going on for about 30, over 30 years, uh, where 180 participants from 36 teams worldwide compete in three-hour head-to-head mashups. We've been competing in this for few years now and a lot of us, uh, a lot of our alumni are still quite passionate about uh, competing and winning in this competition. Uh, I think the diversity of the team, so the Nanyang MBA in the past has had very diverse teams and this year is no exception uh, with our different career experiences but also with different cultural backgrounds. That really helped the dynamics and helped us come up with very creative solutions. Um, on top of that, we were able to deliver very professional presentations and that helped us stand out from the rest <coughs> of the teams. I think another factor was also uh, team flexibility because we had the flexibility to slip in and out of roles and slip into each other's roles uh, when a new case demanded it. Uh, so for example, uh, to build on that point, if Sunita and Jonah were working on the implementation um, but there was a lot of financials required and Sunita would come in, use the laptop for financials and I would go and help Jonah with the implementation. So for the training itself, uh, we went through three rounds of selection rounds conducted by Prof. Vijay himself. Uh, after three rounds, the four of us were selected. Um, and after that, we went through about four weeks of quite intensive preparation, about two to three times per week. Uh, each time we were preparing a business case, just like the one that we will see in John Wilson itself. Uh, we also had separate uh, training sessions with uh, other alumni, such as uh, Gaurav, Minty and Akshay himself. Uh, this was very crucial for us because they have gone for the competition and the support from them was very, was very necessary for us to understand what the competition was about. Uh, on our off days, uh, we were researching on our own on the different industries that we will probably cover and also the different strategic uh, frameworks that we uh, learned in class. So during the competition itself, we also, actually, we also split our own tasks as well. So uh, Ashwati here will be the one churning out the PowerPoints very quickly right from the bat. Uh, and then Sunita will be the one uh, pl plucking all the essential financial information and putting them into the slides in a very uh, succinct and cogent manner so they can present it. Then Corey and I will be focused on the strategic implementation and the ideas itself. And so the four of us will focus on these tasks to put together the presentation. Teamwork, that was really an essential path to our success. We worked really cohesively as a team and that was critical to us winning the case competition. Secondly, um, the fact that continuous learning throughout the entire competition, during each case we built on our skill sets and introduced new skills which, as each day passed. And lastly, during the Q&A se session with the judges, we actually used the Q&A to bolster our recommendations um, that we introduced in our cases. What that really means is, given the tools that we learned here in Nanyang Business School, we actually came up with a strategy. We had a clear implementation plan for uh, winning in John Wilson competition, evolved along the way, and finally won. And then the team would like to thank Team Hortons for your great coffee, because without it, we would never have won the competition. I think the reasons why progressively we've been able to accomplish certain goals in the John Molson competition um, is uh, because of, uh, partly because of our curriculum. Because in the curriculum we emphasize a lot on case-based teaching. And that case-based teaching obviously helps in case competitions. And the second reason is uh, cumulative learning. Because we have alumni who participated in the competition earlier who are the ones who are now coming and training these particular students. So that promotes alumni interactions, that promotes alumni knowledge sharing, 
and that also helps the current students be become more confident, become more proficient, and essentially learn how to apply the skills of not only in the curriculum, but also the industry, which now their alumni are telling us. It's this eclectic mix of things that we do, which has contributed to our success uh, in the John Molson competition. It's always a challenge. It's always very tough training the MBA students. They have a very tough schedule. They have so many different courses to do, but for the team to be able to accomplish, which no other team has been able to do, and to become the first Asian team to win this competition is extremely rewarding. It's extremely exciting, and it's also fulfilling, and it also motivates us uh, for the future. I think one of the ways in which the Nanyang MBA obviously benefits is the reputation. Uh, people start to take notice. Here in Asia, not too many schools are known for uh, analytical case-based uh, teaching. And uh, today we've become one of those particular schools, uh, which essentially highlights a key characteristic of our program. Secondly, the students become a whole lot more confident. Anytime their peers win, they think they can do it too. And that confidence is very hard to impart. And thirdly, they learn from the students. When they come back, uh, they share the best practices, they see what they have seen globally with other teams, they develop a sense of strategies of how to analyze cases, how to think. And it's all that learning which they bring to bear and share it with their peers, uh, which then makes for greater learning of the students. The reason I think this team won is because this team is greater than the sum of its parts. It's not individuals uh, sometimes who create excellence, it's teams. And that's very hard to inculcate, that's very hard to teach. You only know it when you see it. And to be able to have a team which showcases the best of teamwork and the best of performance and to go out and accomplish such lofty goals, I think it's encouraging. And that I think is one of the greatest accomplishments that this particular team has done. And I think it's also a testimonial to a program which allows our students to come together, form their own particular teams and ultimately uh, create what we call high-performance group work and high-performance teams.